Hi guys, welcome to another video on the JB and Millie channel. So guys, today we have had to record this video on the spot because we are really, really sorry for anybody that was in our premiere today. But when we visited this island, the capture card seemed to have picked up a few little glitches, there was a few pixels, and really in theory the video kind of crashed in the premiere. So what I've done is I've hopped on the dream suite, I've flown straight over here because we couldn't not show you guys this island so we're just going to try our very best through the dream suite just to recreate what the creator was showing us when they showed us around. Now we do still have the footage of that initial tour where we were shown around. JB is in the process of recovering that as we speak but just so you can see this tour I'm here to show you guys around this gorgeous island. So the creator loves hiking and so they've created a little bit of a forest where they could go during lockdown and still kind of escape the outdoors. So look here, we have this gorgeous hiking trail which is shown on the sign. And if we follow that up here, we go through this little hiking trail which is just adorable. And we come up to the little campsite area. Look at this, so they've built a second island home so they could have this little tent and as well through Pocket Camp they've got this really nice campsite signs that we adore. So guys, let's take a look in their tent. Okay guys, so the tent looks pretty much as it does when you arrive. We've got this little light, a radio and a little inflatable bed. So it's a pretty cute tent, right? I really like it and I really like how the camp, like, because obviously the campsite's not got a tent set up all the time, they decided to do an additional one because this is the main campsite here. Ooh, so heading up here we have this little path. Some really nice island homes, again this really nice kind of forest feel. Head down here to Red's Beach. So coming around here we have another lovely island home. I love how they've placed Christmas items outside each one of them. Some gorgeous Christmas items here outside the museum like. Just looking down there we've got the reindeer, snowflakes, an ice tree. So nice. Again some more gorgeous Christmas items outside this island home. And we can see this is Maple's house because of the little bear on that chair, which is so cute. Heading down here, we have the island home. So guys, this is a stunning house. We can't wait to share this with you. When you first come in here, we have the tree, some gorgeous customs designs here. So you can see the ones on the sofa match the cushions on the floor. So it's kind of like you've got too many guests over, you're giving them a cushion to sit on because there isn't enough chairs. You'll see instead of using the stockings, they've actually bought the socks from the Able sisters and placed them on the wall too there, which is just a lovely touch. Ooh, this cute little twin room and again this like log cabin feel it's just gorgeous in here toys on the floor like people have just opened the presents and they're now getting to play i love this it's so so christmasy it's really getting me in the festive spirit so then we head into this back room Ooh, and it's the kitchen Again, quite Christmassy. The dogs are in here. Look. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. So here we have the bathroom and they have the same bath as me because I got this one on Animal Crossing and I just think the bath, even the bath looks so festive. And as well, just everything matches really nicely. The toilet seat, the bin, the drawers, everything just fits together so, so well. Okay, so we'll go upstairs next. Save the basement because remember, JB would find it spooky. And we have this gorgeous room here. 
Now, I think this is stunning. I love the bookcases on the walls here. As an avid reader, this is so cute. Oh, the pocket camp little caravans there. A fireplace. I really like that variant of fireplace. For some reason, the darker furniture, I feel, fits a lot nicer with Christmas. And then we have the basement to check out. So this is just stunning as well, like kind of like a big sitting room where you'd have all the family over but also it looks like some family have stayed over, they ran out of beds, they've got the sleeping bag out on the floor. I don't know, I feel like this house just tells a lovely story of a family at Christmas and I love that so so much. Okay, so let's head back outside and see what we find next. So guys, let's see what's coming up. Ooh, there's a deer crossing sign. Which takes us over here, perhaps? Over here. A cute little islander's house. Running through the trees here. Because we want to show you this cute little tree farm. So here we have all these little trees so you can go and pick what your tree out. Here we can see one's been chopped down so someone's bought that one already. We just love this concept so much. And another concept the creator's done that we love is these little sledge marks here. Like people are sledging back from getting the trees or just going sledging somewhere. It's honestly so cute. We also have a really nice little area on the beach here with the fire pit, the tent. Oh, it's just so nice. This entire island's making me feel very outdoorsy. And I've never ever <laughs> like been outdoorsy, but this island's doing it. So this is the viewing platform and we can see over to the tree farm there. But this perspective just, oh, it's stunning. I love it so much, kind of like you finally hike to your final destination. You're seeing this gorgeous view of a lake, and I love it. Okay, guys. Oh, look, see, here is the girl that showed us round. Danae, welcome to Maury. So that's their little hiking outfit. Just gonna go up here with you guys, check we didn't miss anything. I am saving something quite impressive. Well, I think impressive until last because there was a moment on this tour that really stood out for me personally. So here we have this little sleigh park here. Some more gorgeous Christmas decorations. This way to resident services. A little stall for your hot chocolate here and also guys if you are visiting through the dream address here you can find this cute little outfit and a ladder on the side there as well. So don't miss out. A lovely picnic area. And I feel like this is the last part of the island, but it was one of my favourites. Check out this bridge. I feel like they added this in so well. I love the fencing they used at the side. Everything fits perfectly together. And if we just keep following this round, it takes us over back to the campsite. Which is, of course, here. So guys, this was just a brief little sh show of the island. The creator goes into this in much, much more detail on the main video, which like we said, JB is working on being able to re-upload to the channel now. This is just so you get your daily island tours. Now we, and hopefully you can see from this, we have dedicated ourselves to making sure all these tours go out. You are going to get, oh, look at this little toy store. I nearly left that out. So yeah, you guys are going to get 25 island tours this month. So please, please, you know, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for that. As you can see, regardless of what happens, tech issues or anything, we are going to bring you 25 stunning islands. So we do still have the footage of the Q&A with the creator, which we are going to head over to now. Okay, guys, so here we are again in the stunning winter woodland of Mori. 
So as always we have the Q&A section, JB is going to read the questions we've asked the creator and I will read the answers the creator provided. Yay, thank you so much. Also a quick reminder that the creator's details are on the screen right now and they certainly do deserve a lot of respect. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So the first question was, how many hours did your island take to create? Okay, so my island has taken, bearing in mind I started in October and this is my second island, but I have put in over 200 hours. Um, I've been playing the game since release and in total the hours are 1,300 for both the islands, but like I said, this one's just 200. Mm, that's so cool. So, wow, since October, so quite literally, they would have gone straight from Halloween events and spooky carriages to this awesome spooky winter woodland. Scary. So, oh my gosh, I just think that that's absolutely incredible. I kind of wish we could see how this island evolved, but hopefully going forward, we hope to return, because this place is just absolutely fantastic. So the second question was, what's your favourite part of the island? My favourite part of my island is the hiking trail that leads to the campground. I love hiking in real life and hiking has been one activity that in 2020 has kept me active and that brings me joy as well as Animal Crossing. So I thought, what better than to combine them both? Mm -hmm. And I love that so much because you can always see that reflected when someone has a genuine passion for something and it's just translated perfectly to Animal Crossing and how awesome like I don't know again like we stated in the tour it's one thing making kind of grand designs and just so many elaborate items but just taking a step back and looking at how awesome the game is presented, you know, the deserted island feel, I think this is exactly what the game developers would have had in mind with that concept. Wow, I just think this is incredible. So kind of more on that, what part of the island was the most difficult to create? The most difficult part to create was definitely the paths. They were very tricky to work with and they took a lot of time. Believe it or not, I started by placing the trees first along where I wanted the path to go and then placed the path around and through the trees. I really wanted it to feel as though you were walking through trails in real life. Oh, that's, that's ridiculously interesting because that would make things seem very natural like it is presented here as opposed to here's the kind of... Um, man-made path and here's like how the trees are going to manipulate around it is this is how nature happens and this is how you'd kind of traverse that landscape which is amazing now as you guys are aware at this point this is our christmas advent island tour so we're going to ask these festive questions which we are just in love with so as it's christmas what's your favorite christmas movie elf oh that's brilliant <laughs> That we should um, introduce them to Annalise, who's got an amazing elf custom design. It's because they know Santa. I know him. So, what's your favourite Christmas song? Um, I don't have a specific Christmas song, but rather a Christmas album, which is a Charlie Brown Christmas album. Snoopy is a big part of the holidays for my family and I. Mm, we'll have to give that a listen for sure I think it's been so long since I've seen that but I love Snoopy <laughs> JB's just relieved that there's finally an answer to that question that I can't sing to I'm afraid not <laughs> so I guess moving forward we wanted to ask the creator what the future of this island is because we are very intrigued I'd really like to continue to add more nature and detail so that it has an even more forest and mountain feel to it Mm, okay, wow, so that seems like some pretty big terraforming projects which are going to take some time but I think the creator has more than enough skills to do it and I really, really do hope, hand on heart, that we can revisit when that happens. So, here's the big one, a bit of an obvious one but it's kind of our perfect little transition into giving you guys this information. So, the last question we asked was, do you have a dream address in case we want to visit again? Yes, and I love to have visitors. My dream address is 4377-8361-5180. So guys, JB is going to write this quickly in the description, but it is going to be 4377-8361-5180. So yeah, if you guys do want to visit, please, please, please take screenshots of your favourite parts of the island and tweet it at this amazing creator because they do deserve so much love, so much credit and so much respect. 
oh, we can't get enough of this island. So for sure, we're going to be revisiting this place in the Dream Address so often. So remember, guys, this is our Advent Tours. So it's more important than ever that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any. And to make super sure, press the notification button so you can be alerted to all the amazing tours that we're going to be doing this month on the build-up to Christmas. Indeed. So if you love all things Nintendo as we do and you want to keep up with not only the Nintendo news but whatever's happening in Animal Crossing, Jurassic World Evolution and all things Mario with the 35th anniversary, that is something to be seen. So guys, if you're interested in any of that goodness, please like, comment and subscribe. JBN Miller.